Welcome to Kenny Quest First Ride, where I test ride motorcycles I've never ridden before in the hopes that I find the perfect motorcycle for me. This time I'm riding the 2023 Road Glide ST Fast Johnny Edition. All reactions are authentic and based on my past experience. I'm a newer rider. I ride a 2021 Harley Davidson Iron 883 Sportster with a Stage 1 upgrade and a vintage 1996 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail Special that I fixed up and made road ready. Links to those playlists in the description below. Let's ride. Here we are guys. 2023 Rogue Glide ST in the Fast Johnny colorway. There is no difference between the ST and Fast Johnny than any other Fast Johnny. It's just the colorway and paint. Is this outfitted with any of the RDS yes, sir. options? So this has the full boat of options, the full suite of options of rider control and assist. But there's the iconic shark nose with the fastback blue paintway. Do you know Johnny the Piglet's last name? So Ray Weishar was the wrecking crew member in 1920 in Marion, Indiana, who bested the track record by 18 minutes. And to do his victory lap, he grabbed his piglet, Johnny, that's Johnny Weishar, who had a pennant strapped to his body, a Harley Davidson pennant, and took him, put him in his lap, and he did a victory lap. Awesome. Now we have Fast Johnny. There's the piglet right there. And some say that's how Harley got the nickname being a hog from that. Though I think when you fire up the engine, it sounds like a hog snorting. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it's a Rogue Glide ST. You got the uh, heavy breather air intake right there. There's your enthusiast collection. And it's just a beautiful bike. Now this has a fairing that is doesn't move. This fairing is just sits right on there. The handlebars move, but the fairing is fixed to the frame. So what do you think, Ray? Street glide, road glide? What's what's better? So it's it's really a uh, really uh, consumer whatever customer wants. Yeah. Uh, the only difference is really going to be uh, wind resistance. Uh, you get a little bit more updraft uh, from the fixed fairing on the road glide whereas the batwing it has more of a stopping power not much updraft yeah um, it's a lot heavier in the front end for tight tight corners and stuff like that whereas this is a lot lighter but like i said it's it's a uh, whatever the user wants yeah so when you're moving let's say you're at a turn at a stoplight and you're turning your handlebars yeah. the light moves with yeah. on, the, on, the, on the street glide yeah yeah and on this one it doesn't nope. it's not like the pan america where it's got adaptive headlight no, control it does not but a little birdie told me that might be coming really yes Ooh. have you seen the the uh, CVO I have not seen one in person yet so we'll see if that technology hits it but otherwise it's a beautiful it's a gorgeous bike don't you think Ray yes, sir. fantastic well let's ride it let's do it Ray's going stealth mode on me <laughs> he's got the live wire so my left arm is paralyzed and use your conventional clutch setup Right now, I'm just using uh, this automatic getup. Right yep. Um, but I have I have had uh, bikes in the past that I did the conversion for the clutch and throttle. Okay. One single motion. I'm just saving up my money as of now. Yep. So I can do the same with Harley. Yes, that's fantastic. Awesome, man. Cool. Let's get rolling. All right. So this is my first road glide. It's very intimidating. <laughs> but seriously. It's one of those, you know, holy grail bikes that I put in my mind, but it's all in my head, right? I rode the anniversary street glide recently. And it's got the buckhorn handlebars. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got to do this. I remember that from the street glide. Turn your key ignition. And we are in neutral. We have to accept that. And everything else should be the same. Yeah. So I'm six foot tall, and my Indy Ridge boots are firmly flat on the ground. I got a nice knee bend, 32 inch inseam, so no problems touching the ground at all. And we are in first gear, and on our way. It is like steering feel like a captain in Kirk in the ship on the Enterprise here. This is awesome. Of course, the 117 engine there. And we're stock right now, no, no exhaust. 
Yep, just lean and turn, it goes with you. Fantastic. Yeah, I thought the fairing being fixed to the, the frame was gonna kind of freak me out on turns. But just lean it. Yeah. The way they have these handlebars set up, really easy to maneuver. Not that, not intimidating at all. That is so cool. Those with an injury to an arm can ride motorcycles. That's freaking awesome. All right. Just the mirrors. Of course, you got your indicators on each side, typical Harley setup, self canceling. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. The way this is set up, I'm, I'm hugging the tank with my legs, my inner thighs, so I, I can really feel like I'm confident ducking into the corners. Do the fast Johnny experience, man. Oh! <laughs> that live wire does scoot. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Saw that he got a little sideways there, didn't he? But this one's got six miles on it. Yeah, the seat in this one's not as cushy cloud as I remember from the Street Glide Anniversary model, but it has this nice little cup that holds you in place, keeps you kind of upright, and I feel very much in command. And that's the biggest thing about riding these big bikes is that you want to feel in command and in control. See how these shocks are. Yeah, they work. Rev limiter. Yeah, that rev limiter will get you. <laughs> it's got pep. Slid the rear wheel there. But uh, this heavy breather, like on the breakout, does make itself present and aware. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of the heavy breather. My shin will hit it. I really like this fixed fairing and how it feels in the corners. I'm, I'm surprised at that. I was concerned about it. It was going to kind of freak me out that things are staying straight while other things are moving. It's a non-issue. And... 
<laughs> it encourages me to really dive and, and move my body around to take a corner. And that's kind of the experience that I want in a performance bike. I want to kind of be involved and not just cruising. But yeah, I feel like I'm on the side of my tire more than other motorcycles. It's probably not the case, but that's the way it feels. Once you get on this bike for like a mile or two, you get used to it. Oh, okay. That was awesome. But uh, this this is a first ride experience. I'm just conveying my first time ever on a road glide. And it happens to be the Road Glide ST, which has some more performance attributes than the other Road Glide models, including the 117 cubic inch engine. And down the road, I'm sure I'll have a more elaborate review if I'm able to get on the bike for a day or so who knows maybe I'll buy one yeah got a little bit of a weight to her coming to a stop see how fast we can find neutral there we go there's neutral kill switch and turn that. Find the kickstand. And you can smell it. It's brand new. What did you think of your first road glide experience? That was pretty cool. I, you know, you have these expectations in your head, and they're always wrong, right? It makes you want to duck into the corners. Mm -hmm. This bike, it's kind of like the Lowrider ST. And that you want to duck in. But I feel more comfortable ducking in with this than I do on the Lowrider ST, the soft tail. I don't know why. Um, but it's very confidence inspiring. Good. I was very impressed. Though that rev limiter on first gear at 25 miles per hour sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, very impressive. And uh, thanks to Orlando Harley Davidson. If you guys are looking for a bike, they ship anywhere. anywhere. They are a part of the largest Harley-Davidson network in the United States. And they can get you the deal that you're looking for. Just go ask for my man Ray. He'll be able to hook you up. If you live in Maine, no problem. He'll ship it. Yeah, he's got stores down the road from there. Sure if you're in the Key West, no problem. Fly down to Orlando. Come meet Kenny Quest. Come meet Ray. And we'll take a trip down to, to the Keys with you on your brand new Road Glide ST. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Kenny Quest. Thanks for watching. If you like Harley Davidson products, the Harley Davidson lifestyle, follow my channel where I embark on a journey of a lifetime, diving headfirst into motorcycle culture, modifying my Harley Davidson motorcycles, traveling, and having a good time. If you like my vibe, I encourage you to subscribe. See you next time. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.